apart from that, you know, frustration and disappointment as it seems like Ronaldo's top level career is, is, is really just petering out and and kind of uh, not going the way that he would like. I'm sure he'd love to have went out with, with a bit of a bang, but yeah, I don't know what to say. He's sort of lost that spark, hasn't he? He's lost the real zip in his play and he struggles to find space in the box. He, he, he doesn't work particularly hard. He's got to a point now, Kev, where I, I just don't see him playing any top level football again. Right, look, that's unlikely, isn't it? He'll play for one of the top four or five clubs in the top five leagues. That's highly unlikely that will happen. Um, I, I just, I think we've, we've noticed that maybe even during his Juventus days, I would feel as well, prior to moving to Man United, it looked as though that maybe some of his better days were, were behind him. Still scored what, he scored over 20 goals for Manchester United last season and in a poor side. The course of the last year, 18 months, would have recognised the, the lack of work. They were almost playing with nine men, nine outfield players without the ball, Julian, and that's what I always found when he was, when he was playing. And, at the level that these guys are playing at, it's hard to carry a guy. And I, I, we see it, I suppose, maybe my, some might argue that Lionel Messi's being carried by Argentina in terms of doing all his work where, around him, but he's contributing so much when they're in possession of the ball. Ronaldo doesn't do that. No. So, yes, he's, I mean, he's been phenomenal. He has been a phenomenon. Um, it seems a long time ago now since I, I played so many times against him, but... I just don't feel as though that maybe over the last few years the, they've got the best out or he's got the best out of himself because of maybe age is probably caught up with injuries. Absolutely, I mean.